So, not a long time ago I did a video where I installed Windows 7 on this Compact Desk Pro EN machine. It was a disaster because it's uh, pretty much unusable. A good thing about it is, though, it has supported hardware. I've seen computers that are younger than this and that have worse supported hardware driver-wise. So what I'm talking, graphics work, uh, Ethernet works. USB obviously works, sound works perfectly, and floppy and, well, DVD of course. Haven't tested parallel port and stuff, but who cares, no one uses that anyway. So, um, I thought I gotta, well, get it as up to date as possible with Windows 7, but nope. Nope, actually not. So, Cody wrote on my video where I installed it. Um, that you can still run Windows 8 Consumer Preview on Pentium 3s because on the Consumer Preview they didn't have the um, these new things that Windows 8 has that well pretty much makes your CPU obsolete and it was also really nice and put a download link and a product key uh, under my video where do you get that service seriously you don't even get so great service for paid software <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. I really appreciate that. So, um, after, I don't know, felt seven hours of downloading, I got it here on my computer. I am currently in the process of finding the DVD I burned for it. And I've got also the serial, and uh, we're ready to go. Oh, <laughs> this idiot. He puts the serial in his video. Well, don't forget. Um, Windows 8 Consumer Preview is a consumer preview and this is meant to, you know, be for consumers, for you. So uh, you could just Google it and find it elsewhere as well. So I'm not just a stupid idiot. <laughs> Alright, enough talking. Let's get serious here. Now, what I'll try to do, which is probably not going to work, is to update it. From Windows 7. Why am I doing this? Well, so I don't have to fiddle around with drivers and because I just want to test if it actually does work, but I'm not really too. Uh, um, how do you say that? Ah, I forgot the word. I don't think it's gonna work. That's what I meant to say. So, DVD is in. Now comes the moment of truth. Just to remind you guys. This is a Pentium 3, 930 something megahertz or gigahertz, I'm not sure about that. 512 megabytes of RAM, 32 megs of Intel graphics power from 1999, and an 80 gig hard drive. Let's run setup. Oh, yes. Oh, um, and if you're complaining about this fan blowing in the background, I wouldn't be able to make this video without this fan simply because he's my biggest fan <laughs> no actually because I would be dying because it's so freaking hot in here it's literally 30 to 32 degrees Celsius in here and outside it's even worse even though it's 8 o'clock in the evening yep it's hot so I'm sorry guys <laughs> There you go, guys. This PC can't run Windows 8 Consumer Preview because it doesn't have enough RAM. Are you freaking... No. The... Because of the RAM, I can't install. Well, I guess we have to boot from it then, but look at this. It doesn't even say CPU or something like this isn't working, so pretty nice still. But if I had a gig of RAM, this would actually be legit. <laughs> So build a chip Windows 8 machine. Oh, Windows 8 consumer machine. Consumer preview machine. Whatever, just boot from it. Well, uh, the last time I talked to you guys was 8 p.m. Now it's quarter to 9 p.m. That's because I had to do some stuff in the meantime. And uh, no, it didn't take so long to boot from. But I just didn't get around, get around doing it. So I'm doing it now. But for you, it was only a second to wait anyway. So it's not so bad, I guess. It froze. Now blue screen. Just waiting for it. 
I'm just waiting for it. Come on. Show me the blue screen. <laughs> uh, I actually didn't know that the consumer preview uh, still had the old Windows Vista style boot up thing. <laughs> I mean, I installed consumer preview, but it's so long ago. I can't remember. Oh! Oh! We got a gray screen. And wow! A dot resolution, man. <laughs> but we made it into the installer. It's kinda gray. Not really uh, colorful. Hmm. Maybe that's black and white edition, who knows. <laughs> Alone the fact that I'm booting Windows 8 on a Pentium 3 is just for any computer enthusiast uh, milestone. <laughs> it's kind of black and white. I don't know what's the deal here, but it seems to be installing. Uh, it takes forever, but uh, I'm used to that now. So, <laughs> kind of cool. This will, I think, really install. Hopefully, the graphics improve. Hopefully, I don't want to use black and white windows. <laughs> Oh yes, look at that tripod. Isn't that tripod amazing? Yeah, no. Oh. We are watching here our first reboot after the install, which took a little time, as you could guess, from a system like this. But I remember that the installation time of Windows 7 took way longer, actually way, way longer. I've thought on... 7 it froze a couple of times, but on 8, I mean, it was slow, but it got through everything rather quick for a machine like this. That little compact, it doesn't want to give up yet. An issue I always had with the Windows operating system installs was that you never really know how far the installation it really is. And right now it shows 61%, but that's only the devices. And after this, we're going to get another spinning wheel and the flickering and when it's going to go to 100% it's going to go to some more spinning wheels and yeah in the end you really don't know how far the insulation is is it 70% done or is it 10% done or whatever we just have to wait I guess that's what Microsoft tells us be patient and wait <laughs> yes I know I know on Mac it's not really better even though it shows you how long it never really is that long it's just they always just show it too short when they say about a minute remaining I mean 10 yes <laughs> but this is also ridiculous it's stuck at 96% for three minutes but I hear the hard drive so it's doing something <laughs> the just most awesome thing happened I'm just watching here a series and uh, the video stopped for some reason exactly at this uh, spot and it looks like he is looking behind me and what what do I see oh the installation is done so Netflix uh, apparently wants to tell me that my installation is done when it froze up there <laughs> yeah no, I think it's able to continue hopefully oh yes good okay <laughs> let's do this one thing I'm not so happy to see though is that it's still black and white for whatever freaking reason. Hopefully this does change in the uh, installation of some drivers. Hopefully, god damn it. Hmm guys, what should we use? Uh, black or light gray or no, we're just gonna use the standard because I will not be able to move the freaking mouse without a lag. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> It's not good at all. Maybe I can hit it there. Next. Come on. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Just watch this. I'm moving the mouse. The mouse literally lags. Now it's better. Now it's, now it's okay. Now it's actually okay. It's still no perfect. And it's getting so dark and crappy, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this smoothness. Oh god. I really hope that improves. Wow, this is really bad. Wow. Wow, wow. 
we made it guys this took literally hours no <laughs> but it took just too long eventually uh, we still have the extremely disturbing lagging mouse and we got the worst resolution you can imagine and we don't have colors uh, I hope this is somewhat uh, fixable because with this I wouldn't really call that a success at first let's see if the driver is any good which it probably isn't Windows Explorer what the hell screen resolution there we go oh there we go let me just try to get this at least somewhat working Ugh. yeah it didn't work yeah I'm here three months later or four I don't know I recorded that in summer when it was like still 30 degrees in the night which was bad I forgot that I made these clips and um, yeah here I am I've just found them on a computer now what I can say is the compag was a bad Windows 8 consumer preview machine just for the reason that no driver at all worked the only maybe successful driver is the USB <laughs> and I tried and I tried and I tried but I mean just it took so long just to get a file on there and getting it set up and yeah not a chance guys not a chance so what do we learn from that it is time-consuming exhausting frustrating and um, stupid to install Windows 8 consumer preview on a compact with a Pentium 3 which means you know I had to do it it was still really nice from Cody to send me the file and the key and everything and it was still fun you know because I mean who the fuck puts Windows 8 on a Pentium 3 uh, yeah so I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video please subscribe ha different outro